The best in PC gaming. The best in PlayStation gaming. Click the subscribe button to Australia's finest video gaming YouTube channel today. GFYS Gaming Australia. Action is pleasure. Simulation is key.
G'day viewers, my name is the Godfather of the Rails and welcome to GFYS Gaming Australia. We are playing the Cathcart Circle Line and I can tell you guys that uh, I finally have got the PC version of the game working again here on this Monday the 15th of June 2021. So uh, we finally have been able to purchase the uh, Cathcart for the PC uh, as we've been doing gameplay on a PS5 console. Uh, uh, since the uh, launch live stream and we were the first YouTube channel in the world to bring you the official launch of the Cathcart Circle Line and uh, I am playing uh, I, as you can see I was fiddling around with the settings and I've put it in the TAA and it's looking absolutely stunning in TAA uh, there's a little bit of freezing here and there uh, but uh, that's to be expected on the PC version so a little bit less frame rate but uh, better detail for you guys uh, is um, the sacrifices that we have between the two versions of the game so anyway, uh, we hope you enjoy uh, this run, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue. And uh, if you're watching this on Premiere, it's a 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, it will be updated later on to pure 4K, so you'll be able to watch it in 4K as soon as it's fully processed on our YouTube channel.
If you see anything suspicious, please tell a member of staff or the police. Well, this gives you an indication of uh, the frame rate that we're currently on with ultra and high graphics. Uh, we have all of the highest settings possible. We got the uh, screen percentage at 110% and uh, we got it on TAA. And um, you can see that uh, that is what we are receiving at this current time, around about 45 uh, frames uh, per second. Uh, you can see that it does have a freeze uh, here and there. Uh, so uh, I am on a 1060 GTX uh, 1060 6 gigabyte uh, with the Ryzen 2700X. Uh, so that is uh, what you will receive on that particular uh, PC uh, setup uh, with uh, at this current time. You have to, um, if you're having problems with it, like I was, uh, how I solved it is I up I up my uh, memory bay uh, on uh, and. Um, went to um, the memory area for the uh, hard drive and up the memory, uh, virtual memory, uh, uh, minimum and maximum. And um, now it seems to be uh, working uh, a little bit more uh, sufficient. You can see that there's a little bit of freezing here and there, but um, there's a little bit of freezing also on the console versions as well, folks, at this current time as well. So um, that's when the trains seem to come in on the opposite direction. It seems to be freezing uh, in with those. So uh, that is even with the uh, PlayStation 4 version playing on a PS5 console, uh, which we have been doing since uh, its launch. Um, and uh, yeah, we've um, all our first scenarios have been done via the, P uh, the PlayStation uh, Five, uh, four version via the PS5. Uh, we are going fully next gen when Rush Hour gets released uh, here on our YouTube channel. So uh, you'll be experiencing gameplay from uh, both next gen and PC versions. And um, we will be, um, from time to time, probably most likely jumping off the PC version because it does play up a hell of a lot way more uh, than what the console version would. Uh, but uh, it is great to be back with the uh, PC version and uh, playing the calf car here for the first time for you guys uh, via the PC version. So you see the draw distance and uh, in level and detail is uh, way superior uh, than what it is on current um, last gen consoles, uh, that being Xbox One and the uh, PlayStation 4.
station. Do not use the emergency cord as this may delay help reaching you. One thing I can say to you guys, between the uh, console version with the uh, low and medium setting graphics that they um, automatically put in that, uh, even with the uh, next gen version uh, being in 4K, uh, sorry, not the next gen version, uh, playing the game on next gen console uh, being in 4K, um, you can see that um, it's a little bit lighter in the tunnels, you can see the light a little tiny bit more uh, with the front lights. Um, and um, with the uh, console version, it's totally dark. You don't see the lights at all. So uh, once again, uh, Dovetail, you know, in my opinion, have always had an issue with lining uh, with the lights on trains. Uh, so yeah, that is one major thing that uh, I would love to see Dovetail finally conquer uh, is uh, the lighting issues with trains. Um, because yeah, I like to see more uh, draw distances on uh, lights. You know, we see games such as uh, American Truck Simulator and Flight Simulator have amazing light detail. And um, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, that is. Uh, so yeah, we have we see games like that and they have amazing lighting detail uh, with uh, the planes and for Microsoft and uh, Flight Simulator and the trucks for American Truck Simulator. Um, so yeah, there's a few things uh, there. Um, that they can approve on. Anyway, we're here at our final uh, destination on this particular timetable. We thank you very much for everybody that has watched uh, this great gameplay. And uh, if you're watching this on Premiere, there is still an issue with the British train routes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the uh, AI is going flying into the air like they're Mary Poppins still a funny thing to this day but it's still you know not nice to see that actually happen because uh, that's not actually part of the game it's been an issue since release of trains in world 2 that is it was never an issue with the original game and there we go with that fantastic run we hope you enjoyed that was the 2P14 Glasgow Central to Newton via Pollock Shields East. And we uh, encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel today. And turn that notification bell on and like us at Facebook and follow us at Twitter.